Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> They're having they, dirt. They, well, they, it was almost done, and then a, a fucking cow plummeted through part of it and so they're they're still working on it they they don't know what happened with that but they suspect somebody playfully shot a catapulted cow or something at the building but nobody's mm -hmm. been able to find out who and damn it. I, I was i was hoping mm. i would finish that way i could actually start practicing making trumps right the private legend. well yeah, the, the odd to... thing you're told about the cow is it showed up with this he holds up a small silver spoon we don't understand what, why it was there with him. It was there a dish? What? But was there a dish? I, it was broken. A fiddle? Yeah. Perhaps. How did you know? And a cat? <laughs> yes. Playing hey diddle diddle? Well, they weren't fiddle. playing anything. They were all dead. Dead, <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. Um, that is the fiddle, is the fiddle broken? Dead. Normally objects, normally objects falling from the sky seem to be. No, the to land the, okay. the fiddle is actually in good repair. They bring you the fiddle. Palms. No, oh. I thought you might like this. Hmm. Yes, Check maybe you can play some music to those people we're going to visit. Yes. <laughs> they take. The they get it put in the case for you, and now you have a fiddle. Lovely. And sticks. <laughs> ba -dum -boom. So yeah, aside from things crashing into the building, which are currently being repaired using some of the profits of the place and all that things are mm -hmm. dicey. Also, uh, when when this happened, uh, they tell you that there was some guy with green hair wearing a purple jacket who was standing on top of some other building yelling, I am causing this all, it is foreseen. And then the guard shot him and he laughed and died and then they couldn't find his body. Yep, okay. Um, That's fine. <laughs> I just look at you like, mm -hmm. okay. All right, there, and there's only one other thing I want to do. So guys, give me about half an hour. Okay. All right. Ah, I see. You need more? Oh, really? Okay, that's quick. Sure, we'll wait. Um, Say hello. Can I go over to the pottery store? <laughs> she she <laughs> doesn't have any time to talk, to talk and stuff because she's got a lot of customers, but she is happy to see you. Okay. She does. She can't. Yeah, you know, probably um, going to take. Apparently, a lot of people had their pots explode, and so she's busy. Uh, okay. You know. I wanted to attempt to teach you something, but. Um, no time right now, lover. She says. Yep. All right. Yeah, I'm, I have to head out of town straight away. We're heading to Bakersfield and beyond. So. Be safe, she says. Yes. I'll see you when I get back. Hopefully. Gee. All right. Uh, before we leave, Logan, I, want to, I just want to go to a private little area and I'm going to cast some spells. No problem. There's there's a, a, a back. You guys are not uh, in your current clothes. Uh, good to go in the front fancy part. So That's fine. The, you're in, you're in like a, a a bathroom in the back type thing. Yeah, I'm um, screaming. There is a couple all, there's the things like the stable slash carport area. There's the other. There's the um, other shops <coughs> in the building, mm -hmm. which I don't. Think. So they, there's they a just put them in the bathroom. <laughs> anyway, it's fine. I don't care. <laughs> Come on, just give me a sec. <sighs> Just want to be prepared. <laughs> Come on, give me that fumble. Missed by two. That's great. Give That's me the fumble. Five. Yeah, there it Stop. is. Here comes the I fumble card. Fumble. The fumble card. The fumble card. That was it. Stunned. And you're done All with right, that spell me... for the day. Yeah, I'll do a different one. I'll do the combat one instead. Hmm. 
Here <laughs> comes the fumble <laughs> card, the fumble <laughs> card, the fumble <laughs> card. Here Not comes mentioned. the fumble card. And that is the story about how Freddy lit the fucking golden waddle on fire. Really? Uh huh. How? What's the fumble? Uh, wrong, wrong target. target itself. <laughs> All right, I'll spin it. Fire! Here. <laughs> no, no. Oh, different fumble card. Here comes yeah. the different fumble card. Different fumble card. Ah. Right, Freddy very meticulously takes all of the stuff out of his pockets and throws it all over the bathroom and then looks at the camera really annoyed and then picks it all back up. Okay, fine, let's go on my I really want him to just fucking set fire to this and wrestle and Rad to come back in and go, gonna kill him, gonna kill him. <laughs> that would have been epic. All right, no problem. I. Uh, you guys head over to the uh, stagecoach now. Which package would you like? The super ch uh, cheap one, the nice package, or the amazing package? Okay, like the nice package myself. Nice package, no problem. You get you get uh, instead of sleeping with uh, everybody in the common room, you get your own room for the nice package. Uh, you get a really nice room for the amazing package. How much were they each? 40, 50, and 70 silver. Uh, I'll pay 50. Okay. And you, Pete? Yeah. Yeah, I was going to do 50. All right. Are you sure you don't want to just pay the extra 20 to get the amazing package? Yeah, why not? All right. They thought you looked posh. Okay. Uh, yes, he's sitting on like a bunch of, they, they've got him uh, with netting and stuff so he doesn't get bounced around too much and he's on a huge thing of cushions and such. So, uh, or yeah, no problem. I, you guys all don't get robbed or anything because you uh, took the nicer package. Congrats. Uh, it's an entire day of like every every few miles are changing horses and then everybody has like five minutes to stretch out and then get back in the carriage and then they ride like hell and then mm -hmm. halfway there uh there's a fairly decent hotel you notice on the way that if you were to walk because it'd take close to five to seven days to walk there's hotels every day of foot travel not nice places and but the one that's midway oh pretty nice uh look i'm also each every now and then i'm gonna be looking out the window to see we're not being followed by harlequins or anything like that if they are there then uh you haven't seen them but you're pretty convinced that the speed you're going that uh you're going to outpace even them which is good just to be sure, quit. They were with you for the uh, first bit of it, but then you think you lost them. Okay, cool. Due to speed. If you're on foot, you'd probably have been attacked by hard McQuinn. So you sit around congratulating yourselves on avoiding a couple of horrible encounters. Um, when you get to uh, Bakersfield, Bakersfield itself, pretty, pretty large town. It's definitely a farming community. Uh, you arrive during their cabbage festival when they're crowning uh, the queen of the cabbage and stuff like that. Um, it, it, this is, it, it's a lot like looking at Kansas. It's just that boring. It makes you feel bored just to be here. Um, mm -hmm. You can tell Russ has seen Kansas. He's rub, rubbing his eyes. Um, uh, this, this took all day, right? No, this took two days. Two days? Yeah. yeah. Damn, okay. Oh yeah, your spell yeah, that you honestly, spent all that Illinois time. is just that boring if, if it's all flat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hang on a second, the first night. Now we... You arrive okay. at the night of the second day type thing just before the okay. gates close because they do close the gates at night. So they have to ride like hell to get you here on time. Mm -hmm. cool. Yay. Yeah, and you're you're hearing kind of an odd violin because you know fiddle, um, but he does his best to squeak out some tunes from it. 
The fiddle is a violin, Logan. Yes. Mm. Yes, although this is more down homey as opposed to elegant. <laughs> and it's cat sized. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh. The smallest violin. <laughs> yeah. No worries. Uh, yeah, you guys get to Bakersfield and the stage drops you off. Uh, the guy recommends uh, a nice hotel to McKay and his entourage. I, I recommend uh, staying staying at the uh, Cornstock. It's a good hotel. Thank you. It gives you directions to it because you were happy to pay the extra money, so <laughs> they are extra nice to you. Okay. Is right. this a place where raw uh, weapons have to be peace-bound, Logan? You notice that the rules on that seemed like you, you see people carrying around swords and stuff like that. Um who aren't guards uh and the guards kind of ignore it but um it looks like the place is more wary they've had some problems in the past with different horrible things showing up so this is I, i'm not saying it's a border town because it's surrounded with farms and there's more shit beyond it but their their weapon restrictions are definitely a bit looser here Guys, if we uh, can go someplace discreet, I'd like to get my sword out of the pocket into the and into the scabbard because I want to be yeah. able to draw that. Sure. When we when we check into the hotel. Yeah. No problem. You guys go over to the the uh, corn and uh, yeah, it, it's a pretty nice place uh, with prices to match. Let me find out <laughs> how much it'll cost you here for. Uh, I must because they don't really do common room sleeping here because it brings in the wrong sort of people. Uh, if you guys wanted a fine suite for all of you, it's 14 silver a night. All right, great. Uh, they show you to your room. I, they do have a presidential type suite also if you want to get the best. No, that'll attract attention to that might. <coughs> Oh, well, uh, you've got your own violin. <laughs> no problem. I'm not going to fiddle while Bakersfield burns. Shows the camera close up on Freddy. Oh, man. All the fiddle jokes are coming out. Mm. Oh, yeah. No worries. Uh, yeah, it, it's. It's, it's a nice town, but it's definitely not an exciting town, unless something like a necromantic horde or something runs through it. But, uh, yeah, it's, this is definitely a farming community. Uh, they do sell horses and things like that, if you guys are wanting horses for your journey onward. Yeah, right. So, oh. Okay, so we're wearing cloaks, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I carefully pull my sword out of my cloak when we get to the hotel. Hey, you do it. Nope. All right. Hey. That's in my scabbard now. Groovy. Um, yeah. I guess the next Wait, day we would need... Oh, yeah. I was just going to say, I was just going to put my... cook, Take my cookery out of my bag and... Loop it through my belt. No worries. Okay, guys, I got to go take care of my eyes. They're trying to kill me. I'll be back in the I'm gonna leave my um and then he flips sword in the pocket. Okay. Um I like how you said I gotta take care of my eyes and then the picture of him in sunglasses <laughs> immediately uh, appears. Yeah, he's on. Mm -mm. So I guess do we need to do any jobs tonight? Because we need to ask around during the day for yeah. more information. Yeah. Well, we can depending on how late it is, we can you know, ask around at the drinking establishments where people will hang around of an evening yeah. likely then during the day oh yeah uh, the, this town is big enough that it actually has uh, uh, some nightlife although nobody in their right mind would travel here to get in on that nightlife mm -hmm. <laughs> sure let's go in and ask around no problem uh, simple research roles to find out what's going on Okay. But specifically about, you know, Rascal the Red and Well, the right, right. I, I figured yeah, I yeah. figured that Yeah. And and it's also useful to get an idea of what's going around happening around here as well. Yeah. Besides res besides him. 
<clears throat> so you made your research lovely um all right what you find out is that uh uh let's see Razcor the red of the thornton thorington mercenary group uh was uh hired to clear out quote a nest of death claws in the irradiated zone um because some had killed off uh some cattle from a lady named janice What's that? Oh, and fuck. uh so she reported it and uh there there the she knows more about it she's like on the edge of the uh uh area of farms and stuff closest to the death claw thing and they are quick to let you know are you guys adventurers or you know mercenaries or something because there's a bounty on each death claw head brought of 15 gold 15 gold per death claw head really they nice. are amazingly hard to kill and there's a lot of them yeah so yeah. yeah we're happy to give you a 15 gold each you betcha uh they they tell you where to go you just don't wander into the fucking bar and say i got the dead death claws yet you know they 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 tell you the correct building and stuff but yeah 15 gold per per head guys am i on vox uh we can hear you but we can't see you right i'm yeah. still blinking my eyes and that's it drops in, so I'm going to leave the video off until I'm not squinting. We like that's you fine. squinting. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. All right. Yeah, you too can get old and have dry eye syndrome. I Believe me, I use a lot of, I go through a lot of friggin' eye drops. Yep. Mm. So yeah, much fun. Yeah, the good ones in. All right. Mm. So we got our Geiger counter. Well, we need to go talk to Janice. Find out a bit more. Well, Janice is here. You're, you're going to you're going to want to go during the daytime. Going to somebody's house at night is a good way to get right, killed. Right, okay. Uh, do you know anything about Rascal the Red? Uh, did he return? Is he still there? I haven't seen him since. Uh, we figure he got that him and the uh, fifteen guys they brought with him must have died. We're, and were they all on foot or on horse? Back. Oh no no they they took horses because you know that, that's that's a stupid amount of distance to travel on foot. <laughs> you gotta go through the haunted forest in order to get to the uh, ruins of the uh, radiated zone. And how were they armed? Do you remember? Well armed, well armed. We're talking crossbows and spears and swords and armor and all kinds of stuff like that you bet those guys look like professionals they look at you guys and go eh. <laughs> you know professionals okay because those death claws they are super duper tough one of those killed three guys before a bunch of guards brought him down and yeah. Are there any special ways to take them down, or is it just kill it dead? High repetitive damage, says one of the guys. But if you if you kill any of the 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 small ones and stuff, watch out for the big ones because they 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 regenerate fast. Yeah. Small ones don't though. No, yeah, you'd be all right with that. <laughs> as as things continue getting worse. Yeah, there um that's a <clears throat> that's going to be a massive test of our luck. Um if we want run into one of those. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, I have a question. If um I don't know what those things are called that you uh when you play a guitar, there's like a little attachment that you can put on your finger, okay. like a slider or whatever it's called. Oh, the, the guitar slide? Sure. Yeah. If I put one of those on my stump hand, would I be able to play the lute? 
<laughs> no. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. Um, that that only gives you like one cord at best. Plus, you'd have to re-angle your arm. Uh, no, no. Okay, do they have it then? All right. What if I played the loot the other way around? So that good hand. So you're strumming the... with a stump. That that well, kind of gets rid of the whole the... picking of the string. No. But I can put a guitar pick on the end of the stump. Yeah, we can put a guitar pick attachment on there. So that you can pick one string at a time. No, no. You you can try it like a negative thirty. Sure. Uh, it's better than nothing. Well, so, depends on how you look at it. The reason I asked is because that would allow us to fly over everything. Yep. Huh? Unless the magic failed. Yeah, what? unless the magic failed. We have a flying loot. A flying loot? Well, I'm, I'm flying loot, everybody says in the bar. It's magic. It doesn't work. Oh. So why'd I'm you bring a, it I'm up? A, I'm a very good guitarist. If you oh, I want to do it show. well then. Perfect. Are you kind of do it for a living? What's the yeah. matter? You said it's broken. Says one of the people at the bar that you insist on talking No, we're playing music, about. not flying with it. Let's hear it. Woo! Music. We Woo! don't have it with us. To demonstrate my virtuoso guitar skills. This is going to go well. Hold on, Do somebody, somebody brings you a guitar and you go, bear, beep, bear, and Freddie, you're thinking, we're all doomed. <laughs> Plus, a lute <laughs> is a bit different than a guitar. It's close. You're, you're right now imagining crashing through the trees and this death claw thing opening its fucking mouth and you flying inside of it. So, yeah, uh, I'm pretty good, but I'm having a bad day. They they, uh, they don't more, believe you and take away the guitar. <laughs> once we leave, I'll tell you about the loot. I don't want to do it here. Okay. You're thinking uh, if you ever need a new spy master for the embassy, beat Freddy is not the one you should be hiring. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So let's get a good night's sleep. Yeah, when we're back at the hotel, I'll say, um, all right, so the way the loot works, assuming you can get it to work in this. Everybody give me counter surveillance at half. Sorry, give what, sorry? Counter surveillance at half, please. Crit. Normal. Crit. I hear you. Let's see here. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, um, guys, don't look, but there are four figures following us. Okay. Well, what do they look like? I didn't get a quick enough. I didn't get a good enough look. Logan, general description. Humans. Uh, you're guessing uh, people from the bar, possibly with some sort of musical instrument fetish. <laughs> okay. They might be your fans. I doubt it the way I just played. <laughs> just keep walking. I'm, I'm going back to the hotel. Mm -hmm. You guys arrive back at the hotel. They they don't immediately follow you in. The Many of the windows are dark and whatnot, as it is nighttime, and you guys have been out researching. Uh, oh, by the way, Pete, mark off uh, 10 silver for research. You guys had a couple drinks. Other people got bought drinks. You know, the usual. Mm -hmm. yeah. So are we in our room right now? You guys go into your room. It's really super dark, and you each have your own room. I'd listen to see if there's anyone, like, coming up to our room or anything. Not yet. With my crit counter surveillance, can I know whether where these guys are following us and how how far they follow us do they step into the, the room question. oh not yet they they stay outside of the hotel 
Okay. Currently. They still they're still staying out there. Um, um locks on the hotel room? Uh dead bowl. Dead bowl. Okay. However, it, it, it's watch. a pretty easy place to break into and you're each in your own room, unless you wanna cluster together as it is. You have to light an oil lamp in order to see in your room, but it's convenient. The uh, position near the door and whatnot. You're pretty sure that Freddie's going to fumble a dex roll. Freddie fumbled me a dex roll, so you can have it lit, <laughs> knock it over, light the place on fire. Come on, Freddie, light that fire. Come on, Freddie, light the fire. No fumble? Shit. All right, fine. Gotta set the town on fire. Um, That'd right, be well, awesome. Time that once, once we're along with Rock, I'll just say quietly. Um, so the, if you manage to get the loot to work and you you have three attempts to play it, if you fail, it just boos at you and doesn't do anything. Okay. Once you once you play it, you have to continue to play it. If you stop, it will fall. And if you try to do any weird maneuvers then you need to play it a bit differently and but otherwise if you're just kind of going in a straight line presuming you got it to work the initial time you'll be fine sounds like something i'd have to will to work like every minute or so while we're in the air that sounds particularly dangerous uh when i was in Voris and we did it it was around every 10 minutes <laughs> Yeah. Um, Are you guys hanging out one room talking? Yes. Yeah. Uh, since we Pete, got a suite, did you go to your own room? A, since we got a suite, we ah. paid for a suite. Ah, that's we'll right. Hang out in, we'll no hang problem. Out in room. Excellent. Everybody, give me a listen roll. You're on the <laughs> second floor, by the way. Freddie yes, can't hear anything o- over the screaming voices in his head. Hmm. Interesting. Sounds like someone's using a grapple. All right. I grab my. On this room. I draw my sword from the pocket. Yep. I. So, what? How bright? How? What we got? A moon? No light. What's the night like? Uh, well, outside, because I was going to yeah. say in here, you've got oil lamps and stuff. It's uh, yeah, I'm start turning them down. I wanted to know how much light was outside if I went and had a look out the window without highlighting myself. Oh, uh, but highlighting yourself is the way to go, Chief. Um, it's, it's it's fairly bright outside. The moon is uh, pretty close to full. Okay. Are you wanting to go? Uh, you've got the oil lamps turned down, you said? Yep. All right. Um, okay, where did the hook come from? Outside the window? Or... I, just, I just heard a noise. Yeah. It, like a okay, so I've got my hand on my hook. I'm ready to go. Yeah, yeah, I would have went by the window. Or yeah, nearby. Yeah. Like... Turn them down and go and have a peek out. No problem. I. Give me a stealth roll. I'm assuming you're being sneaky, sneaky, Pete. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you you see, it looks like uh, uh, two guys are up near the window, and another guy is reaching down and helping up a uh, uh, fourth guy. Uh, essentially, they're starting to cluster outside of your window, like, ha ha! Soon we'll get in there and open the window, shove. <laughs> and Pete launches off a standard combat as a way of saying, hey, how are you guys doing? All right. So round one, uh, he opens the 
basically, he opens the window unexpectedly, which may cause them to... It'll cause them to make uh, dex rolls versus going... <coughs> ah! And falling off the roof, which would irritate shit out. Defense is approved. So, uh, let's see. Both of, You cause both of them to suddenly make their dex roll. The first guy... Yep. Wow. He's good. Second guy... <laughs> ah! Jesus! <coughs> He rolls to see if he can try to grab onto... Uh, he's got the ledge. The guy who is helping up the other guy, and he continues helping him up, the other guy, he doesn't have much of it. He just hangs there, and the guy goes, Oh, come on! <laughs> and so, all of them have masks on, because that way you won't know who they are. Mm -hmm. And hey, um... since Pete did that unexpectedly, you guys stand there and go, Hmm, this round. And the one guy who fell off, roll a D... D or no, he grabbed. I said he grabbed onto the thing, didn't I? Yeah, he didn't grab all the thing. Okay, so now we go to the next round where everybody can act. All right, so I'm assuming that because it's night and the lanterns are down, even though there's a full moon, there is there negative modifiers? Yes, combat? yes, Every, everybody's going to be at negative. <laughs> all right, everybody's at half except Pete, who is uh, murdering in the dark. Uh, heroes are first, villains are second, dancing is approved. Uh, Pete, since you're closest to the bad guys, what do you do? Shove. Uh, shove one, give me a, a grapple roll to, or unarmed, either way, to push his ass. He's the one who made Strength his. Uh, well, I'm going for more of the hitting him rather than how hard. Okay. Yeah, grapple, because it's more yoik. Great. <laughs> that guy definitely has some uh, hard hard roll to make. Right. <laughs> he he just... <laughs> ah, roll a d6 on him. You're only a story up. <laughs> you hear kind of a crunch. Please keep track of uh, damage. And uh, going over for Rust Monster. Uh, Pete is pretty much filling the window Hello? area right we now. Lost oh. We lost him. It Hello. Yep. Am I back? Can you hear me? <coughs> hey, Logan. Uh, nope. He was back for a second. You there? And then he. Oops. Sorry. Hello. Yeah, Hello. you're back. Okay. Yay! Oh. Right. No I'm... way. <laughs> am I still? Am I still back? Yeah, yeah, that's yes, right, yeah. you're back. Okay, cool. All right. right so fast draw sword. How much room is there in the window to start stabbing people? Almost none. Pete is pretty much uh, filling up the rather smallish window. There's another okay. window that you could go out of, but you're not sure if the roof extends to that or not, or if you'd have to do some swash and buckle to get to the thing. You have no idea what's outside right, well, of it, gonna... and it's got um, curtains over it. But you pull out your sword. Yeah, I'm going to fast draw sword. Um... Shoot. And then I'm going to um, go to the other window and see if there's anybody out there. No problem. You go to that window. There's no roof under it. It just goes to the uh, sheer edge of the building. But you can see the edge of the roof. Like, if you were to jump out and, like, ha-ha, swing around, maybe, maybe. But it looks super risky to do it. But it would be a big surprise for everybody. But it looks very difficult. Only parkour was in this game. Mm. Freddie, what do you do? It's just uh, a jump roll. A yeah, difficult uh, jump roll. Acrobatic. Yes. Freddie, what do you do? He's uh, I'll, yeah, I'm going to, um, since there's no room for me to go by the window, I'm going to stand nearby, like, okay? And I'm going to try and cast the spell. As they can't see in the room, right? <laughs> So you don't know what they can and can't see. Never mind then, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to stand at the ready to stab anyone who comes in, or within reach. You stand ready to repel borders, very good. And the bad guys, the one who uh, fell off the roof, gets up. The guy who is uh, holding on to the other guy attempts to pull him up, he does so. The other guy who got pulled up attempts to get his balance and stuff. 
the other guy attempts to get back up and uh, what the one guy who kind of rolled and was hanging on the edge he he's having trouble scrambling up and next round heroes of first villains are second nothing's approved Pete, in order, I, your your targets are not super close. That's all right. If they're stupid enough to come close. You hold action. Very good. And uh, Russ? Uh, I sidle up to the window and wait for mongrels to start coming through. Hold action. Keep in mind, the window is shut currently. If, op mm -hmm. if opening, it will take an action. No? No, no, no. I'm over by Pete now. I, ah, I, okay. I you give you give up on that window. I thought you were going to go ha ha and spring on them. No, 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 no. no. Okay, and not the way I'm rolling today. No way. All right, um, you go hang out near Freddy. Freddy, what are you up to? Same as before. All right, and uh, let's see the bad guys. Where are they thinking on this? Yeah, fuck it. We we want a magic loot. All right, so the bad guys turn. Uh, let's see. Uh, go ahead and. One, two. Two of them rush you. The other one doesn't have room. Uh, so take your held action, Pete. And well, all of us or just him? Just him. They you, Pretty much Pete's in the window fighting right now. Okay. Cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Bug. Uh, where are we? Knife. Pastoral. You didn't sweep your room for bugs before you started playing. <laughs> Ching. Stab, stabby. God damn. God fucking hell. And martial wow. art. <coughs> oh, that's so just 2D8 then. I'm assuming these have these are yokels and they haven't walked well, a Wait, are you using the D8 one? It's just a little itty bitty sticker. It's not even a full kukri or anything if you're using That's the right. chaos thing. Yep. Okay. Yeah. He takes what oh, looks like a oh, fucking letter opener and goes, <laughs> and the guy goes, <laughs> yeah. So uh, no armor, no. All right. Uh... Oops, should have done the oh, 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 oh. Ten points. Ah, yeah. ah, it, it shows him like lightly prick one of the guys who uh, fountains blood out. Give me a luck roll, Pete. <laughs> Might need to change of clothes after this combat. <laughs> yeah. And none of it gets on Pete. He, he just pretty much sliced something really important, like one of his fucking femoral arteries or something. The guy's spraying blood and shit. And right for his action, he has to roll another. He goes, ah! <laughs> the other two guys, uh, well, one, one had already committed to the attack, so he's trying to dive in and tackle Pete. He is a half, and he's not great at it. He, he dives, Pete just kind of leans to one side, and the guy dives into the room. Where unfortunately you two guys are waiting with your held actions. Go ahead. He is knocked down as well. I nick him for one. Ow. Uh, not, you need to roll um, a d6 on the guy who fell. Yes. Oops, sorry, wrong button. Six. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. He, if he ain't dead, he ain't happy. Or well, on the one that's inside. All right. Uh, that's that a crunching that noise. Thing, actually, with the damage that Rock did to him. Oh, no, no. It, Russ, Russ had only done one point. So, yeah, 13. No problem. Uh, he, he ain't getting up. Uh, right. Next round. Villains are first. Heroes are second. Nothing's approved. Uh, the people outside either run away or lay there dead. The guy in the room just lays there. Um, was anybody still actually on the roof? No one's on the roof. No, no one's right. on the roof. All right. They, the, the living scarper. I shall go and summon staff, hotel staff. No, wait, wait. No, no, not yet. I need to teach this one a lesson. He's unconscious. I pull out, I pull oh, out the Do it with gloves, okay? 
No, he doesn't deserve gloves. Okay, fine. Uh, first, I get my Smurf paint out and I paint him up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not letting you do that without some Smurf paint. All right, oh, maybe that one. Right, you guys paint the guy's face blue. Anal refresher him. It doesn't bring him around. And are you painting his? Are you painting his balls blue as well, or just his face? No blue balls, just well, his face. Well, let me see. Does that cancer at least or something? I'm looking at him disturbingly. Is he actually conscious? The guy that got stabbed for thirteen points of damage with sharp knives and shit. No, you oh, don't think he. Lord. You think he's moved beyond unconscious? Yeah, I know. That's what I thought. Yeah, with have you, well, you know he's probably dead. He probably died of the cancer I found in his ass. <laughs> Cut to it shows the hotel staff looking at this guy whose face has been painted blue and it looks like his pants are down, and they look at you like, "What happened?" Uh, they tried to attack us. Yeah. With their there's, pants down? Um, there's one that's probably dead outside the window, and there's a grappling hook probably still there, and a couple of them fled, limping away. This guy was just weird. I don't know yeah. what was up yeah. with him. Maybe they came to rape us. Russ, give me a fast talk roll. Um, <laughs> make it good, because they look really, really disturbed. They, they look very uncertain, like, we don't know if we believe him or not, but... They're drunk. Look at them. Yeah, they, 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 they take away, the, uh, they take away the, uh, uh, the bodies, they apologize for the, un, uh, the criminal element, and they go away with them. And the grappling hook, and the body outside, and yeah, yeah. And you got you guys get a reputation among the living people. It's like horrible shit happens around these people. Good. Yeah. Okay, I've got a grapple plus twenty that I'm getting rid of. Anybody want to grab plus twenty? No, thank you. You know that that, that makes me wonder about something. Mm. What is the rectum of a death claw like? Big. Good luck with that. They shit hmm. bigger than you. Hmm. Well, now I kind of want to kill one and find out. No, no, no. But before you, you do could it, go in you there, know. like, bodily, you oh. could just shove yourself in there. For you, oh. to be, for you to do it properly, they've got to be alive. You understand this, don't you? Ah, uh, true. Well, you will be able to grab their prostate with both hands as you're in there up at Death Closet House. <laughs> wow. Uh, that's, that's where I call it. Surprise, uh, Def Claw as Freddy sneaks up and surprise, motherfucker, shove. <laughs> I think that you get to see a Death Claw face that was not made very often. <laughs> it was never animated that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Feels for a dumb boy left. Anyway, <laughs> everybody in town looks really freaked out and stuff uh, when you come down for breakfast. But they keep they 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 a lot a lot of paused conversations and resumed frantic whispering and shit as you guys collect up on your breakfast and yeah. Okay. They, they, right, look posh. they may still be wearing the same clothes as yesterday, but by God, there's some danger there. Did you want to get the device? Are you? Will you be staying another sword. night with us, uh, uh, sir? Where do we know how, where this Janice person lives? She's on the outskirts of the town somewhere, is she? Past that a bit. She's close to the haunted forest. Okay, so half a day's journey away. A bit further. Yo, oh, the guy makes his no shit roll. He doesn't know who she is or where she is. According to you, your your guys' thing, uh, you got a pretty good idea. About three quarters of a day travel. Okay. By foot. Okay. Assuming you're going by foot. No. Okay. Unless you wanted to buy a handsome cab and some horses, of course. No, I was gonna. No, I was gonna hire someone. To take you out, yeah, that's possible. I was going to hire hire someone 
I'm sure there's someone willing to you can get that much faster wagons and horses or oh. probably a cart cart with hay in it yeah it that, that won't there. really get you there faster but it'll get you there without walking no no I was more thinking like someone with like a a handsome cab and a horse okay. type setup. Yeah, the, you'd need two handsome cabs. There's three of you and your stuff. Or well, I can set it on the lock flat. No, you can, or something a bit bigger that can take all three of us. I'm not sure that's if they have anything bigger than a handsome cab. Let me look. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's why I said it's yeah. hard. I didn't think they had the handsome cab. Yeah, yeah, handsome cab. I'm a, I'm a... All right. I mean, yeah, they don't. It, most most people aren't that fancy around here, but yeah. they're they're happy to get uh, the handsome cab drivers plural. Uh, since you're going pretty far out of town and close to the haunted forest and stuff, uh, round trip they ask. The pin, yes, yes. Uh, uh, they're wanting like 40 silvers for the two handsome cabs to take you out there, wait around, and take you back before the gates close. One gold. Yes, sir. As you tip them most generously, they are delighted to fucking uh, do that. Mm -hmm. You guys got food for the trip? The hotel, uh, will you be staying another night? Yes. We will be happy to provide you with uh, uh, sack lunches and stuff. The handsome cab drivers make their no shit roll. One of them says, <laughs> if you're going out to visit uh, Janice, it'd probably be a good idea to bring a gift of some sort. Mm, good she idea. She runs the farm on her own and all. I've heard about her. Okay. Any suggestions as to if you've heard of her? Any ideas what sort of stuff she likes things farmers can't get for themselves are always appreciated i'm sure mm. bottle of wine might do well no fine wine i mean no no something useful oh oh wait the guys all slowly look the handsome cab drivers look at you a couple of the guests look at you the uh proprietor of the hotel looks at you um, yeah, right. let's so get her she, a pitch she for it. Runs she, a, she runs cattle, does she? That's right. All right. So she won't need anything like she won't need anything like cheeses or butter or anything like that. Uh, the handsome cab drivers say, well, if we're going now, do you want us to swing by the market? So you can see. Yeah. They sure. take you They take you guys and all your shit. And by the way, they're uh, working on cleaning. Is it okay to clean your rooms? Or your room? Mm -hmm. Your suite? Great. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, 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 with, all the, so with all the blood the in it? Yeah, yeah, sure. One of the ladies in the thing goes, oh. <laughs> She strategically faints into her husband, who catches her with some reluctance. And, uh, right, you guys go to Marketplace. They have all kinds of shit here. Um, there's a lot of potentially useful stuff that you could get. Uh, uh, household uh, goods, metal goods, uh, beds, um, I sheets. Shall, I get, um, do they have things like pickled vegetables, stuff like that? Sure. Potatoes. I'll, I'll buy... Mm -hmm some of the more um, high-end, or high-end as in harder to grow or hmm. not usually found around the area, pick things like pickled vegetables. How much um, would you like to spend on uh, this uh, food care packet? Um, and, oh, and yeah, maybe like even like some flour and stuff. I spend. I've got no idea how much stuff's worth. I've forgotten how much stuff's uh, worth. You could fill up the uh, of stuff like that. You could literally fill the seat next to whoever's in their own handsome cab, which I'm guessing is Freddie because um, you know. Yeah, totally. You could literally fill the seat for like twenty silvers. 
Yeah, yeah, I'll spend twenty silver. Great. You buy a butt ton of uh, miscellaneous stuff, and then yeah. you guys set off. Uh, the haunted forest, which uh, I yeah, believe the Rock cool. remembers well, is in the distance. But you guys end up going through some desert to get there. Here's some of the. Oh wait, did I move you guys? Yes. Yes. Good. And yeah. also, there's occasional uncollected scrap there. Is that a car? Uh, <laughs> well, the remains of a car. The fuck? Okay. Well, this is uh, post-apocalypse. Mm -hmm. There's rusted out crap here and there. Um, but then in the distances of a huge redwood forest and whatnot, uh, the lady... <laughs> Looks like this. You're going to have to imagine her without the shotguns and stuff like that. She looks like uh, she was probably pretty at one time, but she is definitely a rough and tumble kind of gal. Um, <clears throat> she looks impressed at the amount of shit you guys have brought her. and She invites you onto the porch because, you know, it's not appropriate Thank to you. be in the house and stuff. Um, she gets uh, uh, chilled drinks and stuff for everybody and says, well, I haven't had visitors in quite some time. My name's Janice. Uh, nice to meet you, Janice. I'm Joshua McKay. This is Jacob and Aeolus. Well, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. She shakes hands all around. She says, ah, what brings you to my farm? You don't look like the kind of people who need work. Um, we're trying to find out what happened to, I believe you hired a mercenary and some, some of his people. City did. They knew that if my cattle went, then they, they, they might, death claws might come in, uh, further into town and eventually start messing with other people's farms. So. Mm -hmm. Yep. On the other side of the, the haunted forest, more desert, destroyed city. They are super dangerous. There's only three of you, though. I heard that they had like 16 guys that went in, didn't come out. Plus, there's a radiation. Well, what was if the death claws are close enough that they're attacking your cattle, wouldn't they be around? opposed to in the well i would the think so the but the forest. these kind of acted a little intelligent which honestly freaked me down. out they came in they scoped out the place i was staying in the house i didn't i don't can't take on any death loss they grabbed a, a cow each and loped off i never okay. I, I i'd have thought they'd just go berserk and kill all the cattle they didn't that they need food. They're foraging. Uh -huh. oh, they might be. They might be evolving. They could be intelligent. I don't know. Yeah, it's not good. Not good at all. <clears throat> Maybe they've moved into Vault Thirteen over there. She doesn't know what that is. No. Nope. Uh, Janice, are the elves still uh, populating the woods there? I think they're a bit further up north. I've, I've heard about them. Steer clear of them because they will definitely shoot you with arrows. Kill you dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know how the mercenary group planned to survive the harshness of the radiation? I think they were hoping that speed would uh, get them in and get them out quick because 15 gold bounty per head, especially since death claws always come in big amounts i think that would pull them in pretty quick mm -hmm. but uh, it's it's pretty risky mm -hmm. so have you seen any sign of the death claws recently not yet i'm hoping not to but i know not to just wait around and hope because I've always held that the longer you leave things, the more they fester. <laughs> Do they usually come 
said once a week, or is it just sporadic? Well, they come once, so I don't know. They'd have to come oh, they again. Only come once. Okay. They'd have to come again for me to let you know. Okay. But if you're going to be going, you can make a big ass omelet with one of their eggs. Maybe, maybe. Now I'll tell you this though: sometimes out in the desert is dust storms. When you're in the irradiated area in the desert, there. You don't want to breathe while dust storms going on. It'll clog up uh, any kind of mask you got pretty quick. And if you breathe it in, you're going to get all that radiation in you. Mm -hmm. So if you got some sort of fancy tent or something like that, that'll, that'll be a help. Also, uh, sometimes there's weird, the last few, uh, last week or so, there's been weird lightning and weird shit happening and stuff. One of my cows turned itself inside out. I ain't never seen anything like that before. And also a bunch of little green men came through. Don't know yeah. what was up with that. They didn't take the cows, though. They seemed scared of them and ran off. Mm, that's pretty smurfed up. Uh, yes, she says. Mm. So, but yeah, I don't know how many of them there are or if you're tougher than you look, but. Do you know of any weaknesses or dislikes that these death calls may have? Uh, I have never fought them. Stories, anything? Ah, uh, well, I did hear a story. She looks around, make sure that nobody's creeping up on you guys. I heard these things were experiments by the government creatures in the old days, back when the council was running things. Now they're yeah. the apex predators. Apex predators in the area. Pretty much any area they go into, they're the apex predator. And just for Freddy, here's apex predator in the creepiest possible fashion. Everybody else just hears it normally, but Freddy's brain is like it's just, a, it's just a nervous twitch. So there's like, nothing you put on the edge of your grounds that might repel these suckers. Well, maybe cow shit. I don't have a huge herd, so I can't take the losses for long, but No. Mm -hmm. No, of course not. Yeah. It's just me. A lot of people don't like being this far away from other people, but I like my privacy. Fair enough. Well, tell you what, though, if you bring back some uh, heads and stuff, I'll let you sleep in the barn on your way back if you need to. Mm -hmm. I'll yeah. even muck it out first if you bring me some heads. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you what, if you got them chasing you, don't come around me. <laughs> no smurfing. All right. Anything else? And uh, nope. You no. guys uh, do a bit of small talk and stuff. She's concerned that the world seems to be going crazy, but you know, death claws are also a huge concern of hers. Other than that, she's okay. She seems like a rough and tumble kind of lady who's uh, probably on the hard side of forty. And tough as nails. Is that here by itself? Uh huh. That must be rough. Don't you? Do you not have any friends or family to help you if you need anything? It's a bit personal, she says. I'm just trying to look out for you. I mean, there's death clothes around. You just do your thing, she says. Oh, I can look okay. after me, but I can't look after death claws. I'm sure not going to start hurting them. Don't Hold bring, on, if don't someone bring found no, a way to hurt them. And don't bring no oh, eggs would... around here either, because if you do, then they might start hunting them down. However, uh, yeah. I hear that make good omelets. I wouldn't want the smell of the eggs anywhere close to my property. Mm hmm. I appreciate the info. Thank you very much, man. And thank you for the goods. Very thoughtful. Certainly. Yeah. If 
you're getting back to town, you may want to get there quick before the gates close. And if you're going on, then you might want to let your cab guys know they're starting to look a bit jumpy. Mm. Yeah, we'll be on the way. Thank you. All right. She goes back to doing her normal stuff, although she always keeps a um, spear handy and apparently is working on stretching out so she can run in case they come around. Um, you guys go get back in your handsome cabs and return to Bakersfield? Well, that's the question. So what are we doing? We're going to keep going on or? Yeah. Um, I didn't realize, is this, is this desert a couple days across or something? Because we uh, need a place to sleep. Well, uh, nobody brought a tent. Um, well, I, I do have a tent, kind of. Is it the little itty bitty one man pup tent? Get some kind of. It's it's one of the um, bandana tents from Britain. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, the magic so, one. You, you'd have yeah, to activate. Like, That's super. Yeah. Uh, well, you'd have to travel through the haunted forest, through mm -hmm. some desert to the distant destroyed city. So it just depends what, um, if you want to try the aerial route or if you want to go on foot. Because I would do it. Aerial route shot. I, I would do it myself, but you know, 